In this video, I'll be comparing Linux Mint and Zorin OS, two of the most popular Linux distributions for beginners. Both are based on Ubuntu and designed to be user-friendly, but they take different approaches. Mint focuses on familiarity and stability, while Zorin emphasizes a modern, polished look that appeals to users switching from Windows or Mac OS. So let's break down what each does best and which one might be the right fit for you. So first, I'll go over what they do and who they're for. Linux Mint is designed to feel comfortable, especially for people coming from Windows. It's available in three main versions, Cinnamon, Mate and XFCE, with Cinnamon being the flagship. Mint is best for users who want a stable, no-nonsense system that feels familiar right away. Then Zorin OS is built to look sleek and modern, with a desktop that can mimic Windows or Mac OS depending on your preference. It comes in different editions, including a free core version and a paid pro edition with extra layouts and software. Zorin is best for users who care about design, want an easy transition from another operating system and prefer a more polished interface out of the box. So now go over some of their key features. Linux Mint includes a traditional desktop layout, especially in Cinnamon with a taskbar, start menu and system tray. It comes pre-installed with multimedia codecs and essential apps like Firefox, LibreOffice and media players. It also includes an update manager that emphasizes stability and gives you control over updates and lightweight additions that run well on older hardware. Zorin OS includes a visually polished desktop with multiple layout options that can resemble Windows, Mac OS or GNOME. Zorin Connect, which links your phone to your PC for notifications, file transfers and remote control. It also includes access to Ubuntu's repositories and compatibility with Snap and Flatpak, and Pro Edition extras, such as the additional desktop layouts, pre-installed creative and productivity software, and dedicated support. So now go over the experience and workflow you will have with them. So first, Linux Mint feels traditional and straightforward. It's focused on familiarity, making it easy for Windows users to get started. Everything is organized in a predictable way, and it emphasizes a stable, consistent experience. Zorin OS feels modern and refined. The desktop layouts, animations, and overall design give it a more premium feel. It's especially appealing if you want Linux to look and behave like Windows or Mac OS, easing the transition. So which one should you choose? First, I would go with Linux Mint, if you want a simple, stable Linux system for everyday use, if you prefer a desktop that feels familiar right away, especially if you are coming from Windows, or if you value reliability over design extras, I would also go with Linux Mint. On the other hand, I would pick Zorin OS if you want a Linux distribution with a polished, modern design, if you are switching from Windows or Mac OS and want desktop layouts that feel similar, or if you don't mind paying for extra features and support in the Pro Edition, then I would also go with Zorin OS. So that concludes this comparison of Linux Mint versus Zorin OS. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.